everyone, Megan here from Crystal Lake Public Library, and this is my Maker Book Talk. So I have a couple categories today, and first I'm going to talk about some kind of crafting book, maker books, and then cookbooks. So I love all kinds of crafting, and this one I found just yesterday, so it's a fresh new release. It's called Elemental Macrame, and it's just some really beautiful examples of macrame and it's putting crystals and beauty into traditional macrame so it's kind of blending the both um, together and this is a little half moon and there's if you look close there's crystals and beads and almost the webbing like uh, dream catcher so I just really found this book um, very appealing visually um, a lot of details in the description of how to make these are uh, beautiful art objects from macrame. There's also coloring included um, and a lot of supply lists. Very, like I said, detailed um, in the preparation, the materials, the knots and the techniques. So it's just a fun read. A necklace which is not certainly not as hard as those other macrames um, a fruit bowl hanger and a plant hanger um, tree of life just lots of really pretty um, different stuff than the traditional macrame that you see so I suggest checking this one out elemental macrame and the next book I couldn't resist this cute little knitting book Conscious Crafts Knitting. So 20 Mindful Makes to Reconnect Head, Heart, and Hands. And I love this one on the cover. Um, I'm from Arizona, so the cactuses spoke to me. And just a cute little pot holder, just to fancy up um, with a fun little quick knitting project. So I'm a knitter, so these um, it has a nice kind of dictionary of the stitches and what they look like kind of finished and then a few steps along. So you have, have a visual of what you're looking for. And then I really liked the dishcloth, super useful. We all use dishcloths and you can use them for scrubbies. It gives you some um, tools and materials. And then again, it walks you through the different um, steps. They're very basic steps, so, but it's still nice to see that information given. And then, like I said, the one on the cover, the plant pot cozies, and you can add different details, some ribbing, um, some purling, actually, not ribbing. I just love those. And the last one, which maybe I'll do in a different maker video this year, pom-pom Christmas wreath. So as a knitter, I have tons of yarn left over, and I'm not great at making pom-poms, and but this one walks you through this one suggests a pom-pom maker, but it's very um, easy to find other ways to make pom-poms, but I love this. It's just a different Christmas wreath. So check this cute little book out, Conscious Crafts Knitting. And then finally, Natural Homemade Skincare. So this one is fun because it's all made of whole foods. Maybe not whole foods you have in your house. Maybe you have some. There's definitely some niche ingredients. Um, it's broken up into cleansers, toners, moisturizers, masks, scrubs, and then treats. And so the treats are just like toners, uh, are different than toners like um, a face mist, a milk bath, a bath tea, a body splash. And one that I really hope that I can find the stuff for it, I might have to order it online, Renew Your Mask. This one looks like a lot of fun and you use freeze-dried pineapple powder. So that's definitely not something I've ever even heard of before. Um, that and buttermilk powder and kaolin clay. But this one just sounded really neat and um, really good for the skin. So this is a fun read, uh, lots of stuff, very simple ingredients, you know, four or five ingredients for all these different things. Um, maybe things that you're growing in your garden, 
some mint or rosemary toners where you use uh, cucumber and aloe vera. So this one's a really neat one to look through for some inspiration of how to up your beauty scare, beauty care game. So the next category here, I have Instant Pot Air Fryer and Slow Cooker. So I got a, an air fryer for Christmas that I love, but always looking for more recipes on how to use it for even more things. And Instant Pot, same, same. I got one a couple years ago and I have about five recipes, but I would love to use it more. So this one's nice because it breaks it up into Instant Pot categories and then subcategories for that, air fryer, slow cooker. And it talks about different types of each one. The one that it shows for the air fryer is not the air fryer I have, but I think with the instructions, they're real simple to um, alter for your machine. So many yummy recipes and inspiration, different things maybe you haven't thought of using your um, small appliances for and I haven't even gotten my slow cooker out recently, so this will be great to get to using that again, especially in the summer. It's such a great um, help keep the heat down in the kitchen. So check this one out. Lots of tips and tricks, cleaning tips, and so many yummy recipes. And then Salad Freak. So this one is all about salads, all kinds of salads. This one, I earmarked roasted little potatoes and radishes. So I've heard of roasting radishes before and they're abundant at the farmer mar farmer's market right now. So that would be a really great use of, for that. Just lots of different ingredients in these salads. Um, just things that maybe you don't always put together, but look so delicious. Jicama slaw, I love jicama with some avocado on it, some radishes, um, and a lot of, they break it down, the produce you need, the stuff from the pantry, and then, you know, maybe the meat or dairy ingredients. This one's just fun, especially for summer when we don't always want to cook something hot. Great alternative. And then finally, I have Sweet Paris, seasonal recipes from an American baker in France. So these are a lot of traditional French um, recipes. Some very fancy, some not as fancy, and a lot of detail. It, it does always mention maybe this is something that you would have a hard time finding in the United States. So they give alternatives and they also give some tips on where you can find the different items. One that I'm hoping to make, quattro quart with roasted plums. So quattro quart or four fourths is like a pound cake. So they made cute little mini pound cakes. Um, it's a little bit different than tra traditional pound cakes here. This one calls for grated zest of a whole lemon and just sounds so yummy. Um, maybe the roasted plums. I don't know if those are in season right now. Have to take a look. Another thing that I really liked is the must not miss winter experiences in Paris and they break it up. And so then there's the summer things in Paris. They talk about the autumn blooms in my and there's another section blooms in my basket and they talk about the different flowers and arranging the flowers to go with the seasons so it's not just a cookbook it's a lot more and just beautiful pictures and i love paris so i thought this was a really great book hope to make something from it this weekend so i hope you found some inspiration on your making and your projects and we'll see you in the library soon Thanks.